Pramod sir, can we run Selenium also? Selenium grid also? Yes. So this is a Selenium grid command. Now here is a command. Here I am pulling. I am running the same Jenkins LTS. I am mentioning that I am running the latest version. Selenium grid is using a Linux machine also. And this is a very lightweight machine. This is the ultimate uh, Docker cheat sheet. I would recommend you if you want to learn more commands, right? Docker run image, Docker run engine, engine X. So first command is Docker hyphen hyphen version. Please note down. If you in click Docker again, it will give you all the commands which are basically present here we have docker run command execute command ps command ps basic ps basically say list of containers okay let's run this command docker ps guys how many containers we are running right now only one container okay as of now we are not running okay but here behind the scene we are seeing that there is one solenoid container which is running you can see on the dashboard also if you want to see go to the here refresh this you will see an option see in use right there is one which is still basically which is running right now in use if you see that right so let's stop this right so you need a container id right and stop so it will print the id of the container now if you do ps do, do you see any container running right now ps basically means all the running containers do you see any container how many images we have we have lot of images yes or no we have lot of images right now that we already have right but for you when you install right i have already lot of images but if you don't have any image what you will do you will use pull command understood this point docker pull jenkins jenkins lts or you will directly go to the hub.docker.com and copy this command and run this that's it run this it will install the latest and here it is telling you i have basically image is up to date i have installed it so pramod we are clear first command is docker version then we have seen that uh we will we have pulled the jenkins now jenkins is available do we have running containers as of now how do we run this jenkins so they have given you a command how to run this if you want to run a container you can use this command right i have given you a very simple different command here i have given you a very different command right here in the second case here we are telling that okay docker pull images i have basically pulled the jenkins here i am pulling i am running the same jenkins lts i am mentioning that i am running the latest version i am mapping my port 8080 and 550000 50000 port mapping i am doing so why we are doing port mapping port mapping basically means okay see this is your parent window this is my mac isn't it tell me in the chat this is my mac i have installed a docker jenkins how do we communicate with each other this is my parent this is child jenkins is a child yes or no which is taken care by docker how do we communicate with each other by using the ports understood we should have a communication between the port and file system also yes or no file system basically means if i have a file i want to copy here if i have a file i want to copy here this communication also we want right networking also we want isn't it networking also we want right they can communicate they should communicate with each other no that's what we are doing in the command this command we are going to use what we are going what we are doing is we are telling docker please run with the port number mapping 8080 and the 50000 port name of my jenkins will be my jenkins container and i want to use jenkins jenkins lts lts basically means latest version of the jenkins understood latest version of the jenkins but again again you said okay no pramod i want to use 1.8 version then what you will mention in the in this case you will mention older version of the jenkins suppose you want you are saying that okay no pramod i want older version then click on this versions here you can install older version of right jenkins 2.6.0 p is basically for port port is clear in the yes or no d basically mean detached mode okay this command will run in the background if you don't use d right what will happen is jenkins will install immediately d, d basically means detached mode if you don't use d what will happen is c all the things will be happening and it will be printed into your console whatever which is happening right now if you want to if you want to do detached mode basically you don't want to see what is uh, what is the output in this case then you can use detached mode in this case right see now jenkins is getting installed jenkins is getting run the container is already created for us and here you can see Jenkins is running. So now what we have done, tell me in the chat. So if you do localhost 8080, you will see Docker has installed a Jenkins. See, now if you have not used the Jenkins, uh, what we call detach mode, can you use another terminal? No, right? It is waiting for me because it is running. If I cancel this, what will happen? My container is also getting stopped. Understood this point? My container will also stop. See, if you refresh this, my container is gone. So what should I do, Pramod? That's why we have used minus d 
understood detach mode detach mode basically means it will run in the background i don't want to see that output as of now i don't want to see the output because when i close this let's say this is the name is promote jenkins clear so from where this port is coming this is the default port in jenkins jenkins every application will basically tell you default ports okay so you don't have to worry about it every application they will tell you the default ports this is a default port of jenkins you don't have to worry they are telling you we are using a default port of 8080 and 5000 if you want to map it if you want to map a volume then you can use minus v to map your volume volume basically means my file system if i want to map my file system with those two ports i have mapped this there is a particular reason for it 8080 to see the ui and 50000 is for the plugin download and everything 50000 port is used by jenkins to download plugins to download multiple things so we need to map if we don't map the pair a port 8080 we will not see the ui if you don't map the 50000 jenkins will jenkins will not able to download the dependencies understood and volume is basically we want to map the volume of current system with this okay volume mapping we will see later but how many of you are clear with this point so if we use a detach mode it will basically print out this thing and if you go to the dashboard what you will see tell me in the chat if i basically filter in use let's see containers go to containers let's filter uh, only show the running container per mode jenkins is running yes or no yes so by using this if you click here right it is telling you okay this is the logs and this is the logs you want to see this is the password by the way and here it is telling you i have mapped two ports so open this port so it is telling you to open the local host 8080 right so here jenkins is running and it is asking for admin password where is this admin password you can see on the logs yes or no how many of you can see that in the logs but again how do we see by using the command line command through command line also you can see so now how many container it is running right now it is running only my, my container yes or no promote jenkins i want to see logs so docker logs minus f and the name of your container here also you can see all the logs if you want to get out control c clear so which command we have seen right now we have seen promote docker ps to see the running container docker ps minus a all the hidden containers running container also as well as existed containers also if you want to see with minus a minus a in linus basically means hidden containers also but we which we are interested in docker yes docker ps only docker logs will basically give you logs isn't it minus f basically means follow the logs docker images will give you all the images contain it is like a linux command no yes but if you are not comfortable you can do all the stuff by using the docker dashboard also that's that is what i was telling you suppose you don't want to see promote i want to stop if you want to stop you can use a command docker stop and the container name yes or no yeah container name first of all let me see the container name how do we see the container name by using the ps command docker stop and the container name see this will be stopped you will see this stopped how many of you can see that if you want to start you can click on this button if you want to restart you want to click on this button or you can use docker start and the container again you will see it will be started yes or no container is started again so your virtual machine is all now up again so which one you will prefer again it's your choice if you want to prefer ui that is your choice also go to containers here you will see all the running containers do we have any running containers as of now no we have stopped yes or no we have stopped so click on this right here if i want to st start the another container my jenkins what should i do click here and i can click this it will basically start my container yes or no just do the docker ps you will see this is running yes or no so through ui also you can do that if you want to stop stop also stop running container nothing is running as of now images if you go to hub you can search any images suppose so any application you want to run suppose in future promote sir i want to run my sql can i run sql my sql image do we have any my sql image let's see okay so my sql docker hub right official image of my sql is available you can see that can we run the multiple jenkins yes you but you need to change ports different ports you can run hundreds of jenkins also so docker pull mysql right and here they will be giving you if you want a password you can set a password here detach mode and this is your tag if you want to name if you want to install mysql you can install by using the docker now what is the advantage of this advantage is very simple you are installing on a virtual machine and you are deleting it so there is no problem with the parent system yes or no guys tell me in the chat if i install jenkins and if i delete after this suppose I, when i am done when i am done i will delete this right any problem in case tell me in the chat any problem in this case then parent will not have any problem right yes or no yes you can run any operating system also so we have ubuntu let's install let's run a ubuntu machine let's say we are doing with command line okay so which one you need to pull 
Ubuntu, right? Yes or no? By the way, I have already there uh, the latest version. Here is the latest version. So it will say I have already downloaded. It will take some time. It is just downloading some remaining files. What is Ubuntu? Ubuntu is a Linux machine. So Docker images. Can you see an Ubuntu machine? Yes, you can see Docker. In. Yes or no? Who has created this? It is telling four weeks ago, somebody has created. We have not created it. Some Ubuntu guys have created this. Understood? Build part, we are not doing. We are just pulling it and running it, right? Yes or no? So how to run? By using the Docker run minus D and Ubuntu. Yes or no? What is what is the name you want to give, right? You want to run something also, right? What you need? From Ubuntu, what you need? Do you need CLI, right? So you need to run this command, which is Docker run in a interactive mode it mode basically means interactive mode right name of the ubuntu let's name this as p ubuntu okay pub let's say na pub from the ubuntu ubuntu latest okay and i want to execute bin bash i want the access of cli here in this case let's see if we got the cli access or not now we have given the command also right to ubuntu that please start the ubuntu with the bin bash so it is telling you, okay, okay, I think latest tag is wrong. So let's close this. Now we have container running. Yes or no? So let's see if this is a, this is a command to see if we are on Linux or not. How many of you can see that Linux? This is a Ubuntu GNO 34, 64 bit Linux machine we are running. Now you are in a child machine. Yes. Yes or no? This console is now child. Yes or no? LS minus A. All the file system. This is not a file system for a Mac. Home directory. All these are basically Ubuntu. You can create a machine. You can create a promote directory. CD to promote directory, right? Touch command. Touch command I think is not present. Vim is there or not? No, it is. Nano is there? No. Okay. But apt get install git is there or not? No. So if you want to exit, exit. Now I have exited. It means I am back to my parent. So we have successfully run Ubuntu Jenkins also. How many can see that now? Pramod sir, can we run Selenium also? Selenium grid also? Yes. So this is a Selenium grid command. Now here is a command. What we are doing is please docker run in a detached mode port number 444 Selenium grid and the VNC port we are mapping. You can take only 2 GB of the RAM and please install Selenium Firefox. How many of you are with me? So it means right it means we have a now we are running in the port right let's see selenium grid is running how many of you can see that yes so we are running selenium grid and here in the official domain yeah they are telling you that you can use this link to see the docker image how many of you can see then selenium grid is using a linux machine also and this is a very lightweight where we have installed very lightweight machine if you see properly right we have only, uh, I think in this in this machine, uh, only Firefox is installed. <laughs> it's a very lightweight machine. Okay, right. So this is a port number 7900 auto connect. And uh, what I will do now, I have written a test case. Let me show you. So this is a little advanced. If you have not done Selenium grid, right? Guys, we have written some Selenium test cases and we will run onto the child. So parent will run test cases from the child. Now we will run our test cases into this, this grid. So I am just showing you one code. Okay, please do. Please, uh, this is a smaller Java code where what we are doing is we are basically telling that, okay, wherever the grid is there, right? Wherever the grid is there, I want to open google.com and I will search testing academy. Firefox will open in the Docker container. Testing academy will search clear and then we will close the done and it is done container is done right now if we are done with the container what we will do we will stop this container and we will save our memory isn't it and we can start by using one method yes or no by using one click i can start it again and again it, it is amazing right now see you will not have access now so all these links will not work because container is stopped fair enough by using the docker what you are doing similarly what we will do we will buy a aws machine and we will install docker and jenkins and we will run our test cases. This is the future. This is exactly the thing that you need to learn. This is what I am trying to explain you. Okay. After doing the automation, after learning the full automation, you generally do this. Let me show you this part. We are doing framework. We have pushed to Git Jenkins and we are running into the grid or grid or cloud grids. How many of you understood Selenium grid by using the Docker container? Docker is amazing. Yes or no? This is the ultimate uh, doc, uh, Docker cheat sheet. I would recommend you if you want to learn more commands right docker run image token run engine nginx docker you want to name or name a container 
you can name it port p is for port d is for the detach mode you can also add a networking for by using the host name and everything this is not required it is for the entry point or you can say the interactive mode you if you want to stop a container start a container you can do that prone basically means you want to delete all the containers right remove if you want to remove a container by using the ui also i can by by clicking this this will work as a same command so we'll do one more uh, round of docker part 2 how many of you want to part 2 give me part 2 in the chat part 2 we'll do part 2 and we will basically do more advanced stuff with the docker you can create your own images your own automation framework images where docker will run everything for you give me part 2 in the chat guys so we'll meet again thank you guys bye bye